lovely humans, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with some more Dead End Paranormal Park, and today I'm reacting to the last episode of season one, finally. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see what happens, and I'm not wearing any makeup. I've been trying lately to take a lot of time for some uh, time for myself and self-care and mental health stuff so it's been really really nice and I'm trying to embrace the natural more often and not feel too bad about myself if I don't feel like getting super glammed up one day so yeah you might be seeing more no makeup Kelly in videos lately but anyway yes I'm gonna be watching the last episode of season one it's called into the fire so it's probably gonna be pretty intense and I do have an updated schedule for you guys on my cartoon so I have decided that I will be moving my bee and puppy cat mornings to Tuesdays. Well, it's going to be posted probably on Tuesday nights, but bee and puppy cat will be Tuesdays. I am going to keep dead end for Saturdays and I'm going to be doing amphibia. So you guys are going to get three videos a week. I've been working very hard on just like organizing my life in general lately. I feel like every once in a while we just have to do that as human beings, right? So I'm really excited. I hope that this new format works out a little bit better. And I hope that you guys enjoy it too. So first of all, how are you doing? If you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, take a deep breath, be kind to yourself today. Take some time to center yourself and reground yourself. We all need that sometimes. And for my quiet item of the day, I have a very special friend for you guys. It's my little Raichu, look at him. Raichu, this I think is a very well made figure of Raichu actually. It looks just like him from the anime and the video games. I love this one, I love his tail, it looks so good. It's hard to make it look so professional like that when it's such like a long bendy piece of, I don't even know what you would call this, I guess. Um, but Raichu holds a special place in my heart. He's always been my favorite electric Pokemon in the original Pokemon Stadium. I think he's super op and cute at the same time. And I feel like he's underrated. I feel like most people obsess over Pikachu and they forget how cute Raichu is. So I've got my little Raichu today. But anyway, without further ado, let's start the last episode of season one. I'm super nervous, but I can't wait to see what happens. So let's start it now. All right, guys, starting the episode now. Courtney is going somewhere on a mission, I guess. She looks really excited. There's Slender Man again. I love how he's still in the show. Oh, there's that creepy curtain monster. We never learned who that was. Wait, he was a skeleton the whole time? I can't believe we just learned who he was after I said that. <laughs> Courtney, wow. That looks delicious, I guess. All of those eyeballs. Not really, but... <laughs> uh, maybe not. Into the fire. It doesn't sound like everything worked out fine. It definitely wasn't fine at the end of the last episode. We had the debut of um, Tell Lucas's sister, apparently, and she turned the whole town into stone. That's right. So things are not okay, clearly. Yeah. What are you guys supposed to do? I can believe it too, honestly, <laughs> that Crony betrayed you. I am not surprised. She was always in it for herself. We want to love Courtney, and I do, but can't deny she was always in it for herself. Hmm. <laughs> Man, we have a lot of en enemies, true. That new one too, I guess. Why don't you get those little bats to help you? Who even are they? What do you think, Raichu? Oh my god! She just bit Bernie's head. Ouch. Hmm. <laughs> Norma. Unless we get eaten, then make it 15. She has, like, no fear. Oh, jeez. What is this dragon castle? Pretty freaky. There she is. What is her name? I don't think we ever learned it yet. <laughs> oh, poor Pugsley. Still possessed. Oh. He turned himself back into Pugsley. How do you do that? Mm. Oh, geez. Now he has to put on an act. There's no way she's going to fall for that. Is she, though? Oh, my God. That guy frozen in stone has a sword going down his throat. Is he okay? There's no way he's going to survive that. Pugsley. Rest in peace here lies a good boy. Oh no. Oh, it's everyone back at the mansion. 
expansion with weapons? <sighs> Step two, hide and cower. Well, well. Oh, Ghost Pauline is back. Is she on our side or no? That's the question. Yeah, why is she green and dead? Mm. Patrick, he's so scared. I feel so bad. What? Who's that bat? Who is that? Okay. Poor Patrick. Jeez, I cannot believe he just jumped that high. Wow. You did actually do it. That's really impressive. Oh no, but he's still getting taken away by bats. Tamalukas' sister is like a whole vibe. She is purely evil. Isn't she like a little confused as to why he's a dog? I guess she just realized that's the body he wanted to possess, apparently. Okay, what are they gonna do to him? <laughs> uh, uh oh, don't blow his cover. Hmm, that's not a good cover up. Oh no. No, how is he gonna get out of this? He obviously can't eat him. <laughs> oh, he licked him. I ate a whole orchestra. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, she just put her sword there as like a sword holder on a human frozen in stone. Oh, jeez. Oh. Now Tim Lucas is gonna, oh, cause he wants a human for himself. I thought they were kind of like on the same team, these two. Well, oh. <laughs> Wait, you've poisoned me. Poisoned me with affection. Wait, does that mean that Tim Lucas, oh, Tim Lucas is actually starting to feel things? No way. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Oh geez, but she's not gonna go down easy. Uh-oh. So, Demolucus is turning good because he's been fused with Pugsley for so long, maybe? Courtney's just, like, living it up. Oh, duh, because she's back in the demon world. That makes sense. What is she eating? That actually looks kind of good. It doesn't look like garbage for once. <laughs> maybe I'm the problem. Oh, my God, that is so cute. Don't eat that, Courtney. I can't watch. It's too adorable. I cannot watch. No. Oh my god, this guy again from the game show episode. Gord, you are the weirdest character I've ever seen. I need him to be explained. Oh, where are they all going? Oh, Courtney's so sad. Oh, it's the mug, the mug from that episode. See, Courtney does have a heart, see? Yeah, they did take him. What are they gonna do? <sighs> All right, they gotta go find Patrick. Norma is such a badass bitch, just saying. Their names are just burgers and smoothie. <laughs> well, I kinda like how Pauline is... The oh, Norma's just giving them all these names. What is she gonna say to Pauline? Pauline, what'd you ever do to her? Seriously? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> True. Oh, she's just feeling bad for herself. She's having a pity party. It's not the way to deal with your mistakes. Does she remember how she used to be? She is a ghost now, like, forever. So, might as well make friends, Pauline. These little bats are like such pests, my goodness. 
<laughs> yeah, Barney's getting like super good at combat and like defending himself and stuff. And cardio. Hee, <laughs> plushy. They're so cute. If they took Patrick to the Demon Kings, that is like definitely not okay. Luckily, Pugsley is fused with Tama Lucas, so hopefully heart wins, you know, love wins over evil in this case, but we'll see. <laughs> My little good boy hat, Tama Lucas actually got upset about that. Maybe he is becoming a little bit more Pugsley than himself, which would actually be a good thing. Hmm. About the what? Nice moves, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, she can create energy balls. That's just the thing she could do now, I guess. <gasps> no, they're stone. No. Barney and Logs, I can't believe it. And a child. What is wrong with you? She is a monster. That is insane. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, it's also kind of flashing back to those big dragons from the first episode. You guys remember how in the first episode it was like the big dragon roller coaster thing? <gasps> her mask cracked. We can see her face, sort of. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Oh, okay, question. I've seen a lot of cartoons where characters turn into stone from bad guys. Like, what happens if you drop them when they're stone? Like, if they crack because they're made out of stone, does that mean that, like, they're bodies are just like exploding apart like are they actually like are they just destroyed in that way or is it like it doesn't matter because they're only destroyed in stone form and then they turn back into themselves if the spell breaks i'm just confused about how that works what do you guys think i have never really understood the logistics behind that Brittany finally gonna help pugsley because she should i'm sure she knows what to do wait what is that what is that letter? Hmm. Mm. Pugsley's gonna have to let him take over, isn't he? Oh no. <gasps> Ooh. Wait a minute. What? Oh, jeez. That's really scary. And doesn't seem like a good thing. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, true. He does look a little more dog-like. Interesting. Wait, so are they actually, like, kind of on each other's side now a little bit? Like... They've been fused together too long. That is interesting. If he's actually even changing the physical form of Demolucus, that's really interesting. Jeez, that's pretty crazy though that he's so OP'd. Oh no, oh no, Barney's mom is tipping. Jeez, what I was just explaining before was about to happen. <gasps> She's helping! Yes! Yes! Pauline, I can't believe it! Do you actually have a heart? I really like that redemption! That makes me really excited, actually! I want to see her be redeemed! Poor, poor Pugsley. A dog should never be tortured this much. This dog has been so tortured in this show. Like, it's a little too much for me to handle. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, she's getting a taste of her own medicine, but that's still his sister. That's pretty messed up. <gasps> My favorite arm. Well, her arm broke off, so I guess I'm gonna get the answer to my stone question. Favorite arm, though. Do I have a favorite arm? Do you guys have a favorite arm? I don't really think I have a favorite arm. I feel like that's not fair. Not fair to the other arm, you know? Give both your arms some love. They do a lot for you every day. <laughs> hmm. Okay, is that a hamster ghost? Who was that hamster ghost? Show it again. I want to see it again. Where did 
did it go? It was so cute! Wait, it was so cute. Why did I never notice it before? Oh my gosh. Um, things still look kind of a mess though. Oh, jeez. Uh, Courtney. Courtney can maybe get through to Tama Lucas because she does have that friendship with Pugsley. Hmm. Do what? What is she egging him on to do? Oh. Don't understand. Wait. Yeah. Exactly. So Demolucas feels these feelings for Barney and Norma because of the memories, even though it's very weird for him. This is so interesting to see, like, this little cute innocent being, such as a puppy, the cutest thing in the world, and a demon be fused together as one, and it being the way that this demon starts to understand, like, love and human emotion and, like, warm feelings. I don't think I've ever seen that done before in a show before. <laughs> I mean, you would, it would make sense to choose a puppy as the character to do that because puppies are just full of love. They just like ooze love out of them. You know what I mean? So if anyone is going to change a demon's heart, it's a puppy. I'm very interesting, uh, interested to see how this relationship develops over time. Oh, wait, he's shrinking? Wait, is that what he looks like now? Wait, Devil Lucas, is that, that's what he's, that's his form now? What? Oh my god! Give her a few kingdoms or something. I like this form of Demo Lucas. I want him to stay like this. I like this. <laughs> oh. oh, Courtney, you want to stay with your friends? Love it. There's a lot of character development happening. Pauline, Demo Lucas, Courtney. I like the character development. You guys know how I feel about that. I'm on board. Oh, Pugsley. You went through so much, you poor puppy. Okay. Everyone looks okay. That's good. Yay! Mm-hmm. Aww. Oh! Ooh, Locks just fell into Barney's arm so naturally. To what? That was adorable. That was adorable. That was totally worth finishing the series for that one kiss right there. 1000%. 1000%. And Pauline's redemption, honestly, I think that was my favorite part of the episode. I was not expecting that from Pauline. She's been so evil the whole time. And I wanted her to have like some form of redemption because she's so funny and there's like things I like about Pauline. So that makes me so happy that they actually did show that. Yeah, how are Barney's parents feeling about all this? Oh my gosh, his mom's... Yes! Oh! Oh my god! Grammy Graham sounds terrifying. Oh, his mom shaved her head once. Oh, I love how they're... <gasps> Thank goodness. No, it doesn't make it okay. It's affected in the whole series. That's a lot of episodes to be emotionally traumatized by your grandma. Yeah, agreed. Grammy Graham needs to learn a lesson. Barney's parents are so sweet. I love it. Hey, a lot's been going on. Oh, cute. Did you see Logs just kind of like step aside like that? That was so sweet. I am so glad that Barney's parents did that. That makes me so happy. I just wanted redemption for his family. Yay. A lot happens. <laughs> hmm. Oh, 
because Courtney chose her friends. That's so sweet. <laughs> I didn't say stop, she said. Yeah, you guys all need a power nap, seriously, after that. <laughs> wow, Bernie. That was like the worst joke in the world, but it's fine. <laughs> This is the biggest day of our lives, is it? I thought it was Tuesday. What? Who? Who was that? What? What is? Okay, he has a creepy voice. Who is that? Um, the upstairs. Wait, he has a halo. Wait, is he one of the angels? Why was he so creepy though? Like, are the angels really bad in this show? Cause that was creepy. What? Okay, cool. So we got a reveal of a new character, which is always exciting for a finale. And Pauline already saying evil things. I am so disappointed, Pauline. I was so excited you got redeemed. I am just, please stay redeemed. Um, that was crazy. That was such a good finale. A lot happened. Um, there were a lot of character arcs that were kind of developed in a way that felt pretty resolved, but still room for more character development. We got to learn more about um, the whole relationship between Pugsley and Demi Lucas. I'm very curious to see how that evolves. Um, I'm just so glad that Barney had reconciliation with his family. Thank goodness. That's all I've wanted all season and got to kiss logs finally. Um, and it was just such a good ending. I definitely plan on continuing the show. Um, it's probably going to be my Saturday show for season two. I'm going to be doing Amphibia either Mondays or Sundays. This will be Saturdays and then me and Puppy Cat will be Tuesdays. So I'm so excited to continue. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that finale with me. And until next time, Raichu and I are going to say goodbye. Have a great day, guys.